Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for the plan with me from August 13th to August 19th. And this is the week that we should be home or almost home from our trip. Um, I'm just pre-planning everything like I've been doing for weeks now. So if you're new here, welcome. And if not, then you have been seeing me pre-plan. And I am in a sticker mood today, so I decided to play with my stickers. The lighting is a little weird. I don't know what this is. And I can't see it on the normal planner very well, but I can see it on the screen. So I apologize for that weirdness. If the lighting gets any worse, I'll wait and I'll finish this later. So I have a Libyan Co. kit and it's a nautical travel kit. And I figured this would be a good one to symbolize coming home. Um, I'm assuming we'll be home this week. I'm going to pre-plan next week too, just in case, but this is the week that I'm assuming we will be home. So we have the full boxes and washi. We have the deco, lots of headers. I love the little Libby girls. And then we have some other little extras. We have lots of three heart checklists and appointment labels, work labels. I also love these a lot too. They're a lot of fun to play with. Then we have all of the half boxes and littles, the um, date cover-ups and full box, the full check boxes, the washi, and then like sidebar stuff. Her sidebar drives me nuts, but the rest of it I love. <laughs> and the only reason her sidebar drives me nuts is because nothing is, they're all different sizes. I don't know why. And this is so cute. I have no idea when she started adding those in. I was just looking at it and found it. All right, so we need a corner box. I'm thinking I like this one for the corner box. So we'll just start at the corner and work our way through with all these boxes. So because of this one, I'm planning on bringing a Sharpie because Sharpies work really well on these stickers. But I've noticed that the um, these little just normal pens, they work fine too. I didn't think they would, but they completely do. I feel like it's getting dark in here. It is kind of a gloomy day. Hold on, let me try to open some more stuff up. That looks a little better. It's, <laughs> there's more of a shadow now, but you can actually see it better. Cause I opened more windows. Um, my whole side of this whole, I'm in the corner of the house right now. So there's windows all along here, all along here. And I just went through and opened them all up to let the light shine in. Ooh. I do admit that I love these stickers. I love the way they smell. I don't get it, I do. All right, so um, we have to come home because my daughter starts school roughly-ish this week or next week, and they're not positive. They know the teachers have to be back by like the 10th, and they think that the kids have to be back a week later, which would be the 20th, which would be my birthday actually but no one's really sure. I've been hearing the 20th, I've been hearing the 25th. So we just know they have to be back towards the end of the month. So this is our goal week to get home, is this week right here. But we will have to kind of wait and see what the week holds in store to see if we make it back in time. Because we don't really have a lot of control over the flights. And so I know that we want to leave Florida with a few days extra, but we could get stuck in California for a while. It happened last year. We got stuck in California for like four days, five days, something like that. We were there for almost a week because it took us a while to get back because everybody wants to go to Hawaii. And so getting a flight to Guam is takes a little bit because you have to go through Hawaii to get to Guam most of the time. Not always, sometimes they'll have a direct flight, but the flights are very rarely direct. A lot of times you have to take like, um, you have to take the flight to Hawaii first and then the one from Hawaii to Guam. And so we're not exactly sure where we're gonna be this week. We'll either be in California, en route, home, somewhere along those lines. We're not really sure yet. All we know right now is that this is our goal week to be home. And it seems like this whole vacation is a total whirlwind and I have no idea how it's all gonna work out just yet. 
All I know is that I'm a little bit nervous because it's a lot. All right, so we have dinners and work, but I don't. Okay, so now we have lawn equipment to go with the dogs. Awesome. All right, um, so we have dinner and work. I don't want to use either one of those, so. We have to clean, to go, to buy, important. Oh my gosh, it's loud. We have a workout one though, so we can probably use a workout one. So let's do the pink work and then we'll make that one a pink workout instead. Just kind of line it up in the middle because this one is smaller. I don't know why she does this, but her sidebar stickers are skinnier than her normal ones. All right, I'm gonna have to quit for a little while because that's gonna drive me nuts. Unless they stop in just a minute. No, they're not stopping. Okay, I'll come back. Welcome back. So it's been like an hour and it's time to do a little bit more work in here. Not that this is work, this is fun. This is me playing. Um, the gardeners got interrupted by a torrential downpour. So now it's an hour later and we will see if the gardeners come back now that the torrential downpour is over because that's what I was waiting for. It's actually lightened up a little bit too, so it actually might end up being a little bit nicer today. Look at that, the only box I have left is the only color I have for, this, for the next week. Maybe I should like, you know, plan these a little bit better. Eh, nah, who needs it, right? And then for every week, I've been putting down a couple of, where did I put it? Habit trackers. Just cause I, don't know what else to put down here. Let's see if it actually fits. Because the little sidebar doesn't. Okay, cool. And we will just put down put a yellow one down too. So we have all of the colors for the spread right here. I don't remember what we were talking about. I got thrown off by the gardeners and the weed whackers and everything else. Um, I think we were talking about coming home. I have a couple things I need to do before we leave to prep for this. I need to make sure that my daughter is fully enrolled in high school and it's, I need to go talk to them about getting my boys enrolled because um, they've been homeschooled for years and I told them they can either be homeschooled, get their GED, and then go get an associate's degree at bare minimum or they can get a uh, a uh, diploma, one of the two. Because I don't think that a GED is necessarily good enough for a lot of places. So I want them to be able to have, you know, either a GED and an associate's or a diploma. Elise wants her diploma and then she wants to join the military. And then the boys are both going to want to do GEDs, but Caleb doesn't, Taylor doesn't feel, Caleb's sneaking up on me. I don't know why. Um, Tyler doesn't feel ready to take his GED because he doesn't feel confident in his ability to um, do math very well. And so he's thinking about going back. And so we're going to go talk to them before we leave, which I need to do soon because we're leaving very, very soon. All right, let's see. I'm gonna have to pause this for a second because my son's sitting there always distracts me. So I'm gonna put the sticker down and then I'm gonna pause it, talk to him. Okay, he's gone. Caleb, I can hear you burping from here. If you could hear that, I apologize. My son is a disgusting pig. Anyways, um, I have no idea what we're talking about. Again, brain does not work very well. Okay, so, oh yeah, um, we're gonna go talk to them about putting him back in high school so he can finish his senior year.
because he just doesn't feel confident enough to do the math portion. And I know he's smart enough. I know he knows how to do most of the stuff. He's just, he's always been kind of, I don't want to say afraid, unsure. He doesn't trust himself. So um, I think we figured that it might just be easier for him to go back to high school, you know, make sure that he feels confident in his ability to learn how to do math properly. And then he can graduate and spend the year goofing off in high school. And he kind of likes the idea of being able to do that anyways because, you know, for a lot of people, high school is a lot of fun. Me, not so much, but I am an oh, odd duck. I mean, it was fine, but I was like chomping at the bit to get out of high school. My daughter, on the other hand, I have a feeling that she's going to do very, very well because she is such a little social butterfly and absolutely adores school, which I am so thrilled with. I am so glad that she loves it. So anyways, um, this week will be about, you know, coming home, getting ready for school, that kind of stuff. Hopefully my car will still be in the parking lot when we get home. They said they don't, not to worry, they're not gonna tow it, but I'm also worried that it's not gonna start because two months without my car starting. It's probably not gonna be a good thing because my car is kind of a hoopty anyways. Um, there's like, these jokes, they have these cars here on the island called Guam Bombs that are like just crap cars. And our joke is that we bought a car to bring here and it turned into a Guam bomb because the lights don't like to work and the tires keep going bad. I don't know what is with the tires. Um, just lots of little things keep going wrong with the car and it's just obnoxious trying to deal with all of it. Okay, so what's left? The washi? Oh, look, there's even a flight info sticker on here. Perfect. But... Yeah, I guess we'll just wait and see, huh? But yeah, that's what this week is gonna be for, is for coming home, getting ready for schools to start and all that joyous, fun stuff. Getting to see my kitties again, because I know by this time I'll be missing them like super bad. Okay, so let's see what we have left. Ooh, we actually have a payday right there. They can actually use a payday sticker. They do, they have a little pay, payday sticker. Because I can talk, because I am good with words. Words are my friend. Let's just put that down, because it's cute. Okay, cool. All right, so. This is our, oops, and pen goes overboard. Our last vacation-ish week. Hopefully we'll be home by now, but I'm gonna do one more week just in case. And so we have that entire page minus the one sticker. That entire page minus no stickers, literally all the page. This have a good number left on. This we have lots of this stuff left a bunch of headers and all the little stuff on the bottom. All the, these boxes are gone. Let's take this off. There, it's just the washi. And then we have the deco and this little sheet, which I think is super cute. So there we go. That is another week done in the books and ready for this trip. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we're almost ready to go. It's like I've been prepping for this for so long that it's hard to believe that it's actually almost here. It's actually nearly time to go. We can leave as early as the end of next week. And I'm kind of floored by this. I can't believe it's almost here. Okay, so there we go. That is this week's and I will put my leftovers for this kit like I did with every other kit that so far this pre-plan session and stick it in my little folder. I will have to make a little video to show you what I'm bringing with me as far as extras go. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you in another video soon. Bye.